Hey, I'm on location in Concord. I had to shoot this house today. I appreciate Suggs Construction allowing me special permission. Even though the house is not quite ready to be shot, they let me get an advanced look for all of my YouTube subscribers who might like the idea of sitting on a lot that's 1.58 acres. <laughs> We're up in Concord and this it's like Mr. Suggs built this house for himself is what it feels like. I just took the tour. Number one thing, this garage is not really a two-car garage. Are you one of those folks that has an extra long truck? Look, at, wait, wait till you see the porches. So if you've got an extra long truck, you'll appreciate that number one, this bay is really deep, but this bay is really, really deep. Why? Because you've got an extra little bump out right up there in the front. Man, this finished garage think about it it's got its own baseboard if you got some large vehicles my 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 or if you want to put a workbench against that back uh that back uh, wall there's looks like plenty of room for that it's large and so this porch comes all the way around to there so it's a true wrap around and then it's got a separate entry right to there and don't get me started about the back porch beautiful hardy board gray crawl space. There's so many reasons to love this house and I appreciate them allowing me to get in today. The first thing you see, besides the brick, you know, steps coming up and a really good sized porch and that wraps around, is this gorgeous door. You talk about first impressions, gorgeous door with side lights and all that. And they want me to take off my shoes, no problem. Now, the first thing I noticed when I came in, again, you know how I like light to the rear. We'll look at that stone and that hearth. But guys, this is old school, nailed down hardwoods right here. Three quarter inch tongue and groove. And that baseboard is huge. What is that, seven inch, eight? Oh yeah. So this has lots of light, but then it's got your own separate little door going out to your porch. So maybe you have a nice formal uh, dinner, then you just pop out to the porch for dessert. Things like this, the pantry, look at that, it's maxed out. Huge, walk-in, I've never seen anything that big. And then another little wing off here is that separate porch. Let me show you the powder room, very handy for you and your guests. Got a window, really nice finishes and so on. Beautiful doors. And then this exterior door, it's almost like the friends and family door. Coming in right there, beautiful. All right guys. So many things to love, huge, huge island, white 42 inch cabinets, gourmet kitchen, very cool backsplash. Everything here is very trendy. And uh, let's take a good peek at that countertop. Now guys, 1.58 acres, no HOA. So you wanted a place to park your RV, right? So I know what you're, at, you're thinking. You're asking me this, is it a master down? And I'm gonna answer it this way, yes and no. Well, what do you mean yes and no? It's a master down and a master up. It's got two masters. So now you just ticked off my box of multi-generational. Love this, man. We will definitely take a peek out there, but if you wanted to live rurally, I had so much fun driving out here to Concord and driving through the country for about 15 minutes. You know, Concord has a very neat downtown, but it's kind of spread out. You could have a Concord address and your neighbor could have a Concord address and it may take you 20 minutes to get there. So again, beautiful, nice interior, paint colors, nine foot ceilings. So this is your great room. And again, how they use that fireplace and the hearth with that stone going all the way up. Take a look at the detail on that. Isn't that nice? I mean, there, there are so many things about this house that Suggs Construction put together. And again, my thought was, this is like, you know, somebody that builds a house for themselves, they build it like this. So this one even bumps around a little bit and so maybe your big RV is out there. Does it sound like I'm talking autobiographically? As I'm driving up through here, I kept looking thinking, baby, we could sell our house. We could buy a, another house and an RV and a, a garage for the RV and all that. So that's a door into the master. Oh yeah. Wow. So what kind of person is this for? This is for somebody, again, the idea of having no HOA, that appeals to a lot of people. So you're saving money right there well and septic are installed so you're saving money on your water bill every month it's already in place now see this is a good size master just to show you how pretty that floor is 
right? And of course you could refinish this. That's what we did in our, we have floors like this and we did that a few years ago. It's nice to be able to do that if you choose to. Now, wait a minute, I hope you're sitting down. If you take blood pressure medicine, you might want to pop one real quick when I show you the shower. Are you ready? <laughs> I know, right? So there's his and there's hers or vice versa. Wow, that is a party shower. I'm gonna guess that's 10 feet. I don't know for sure. Wow. Again, good size master closet. Shelving all the way around. And that shelving looks more substantial than what you normally see. So a lot of little things like that go into it. Uh, elongated toilets, cool door feature. Feature on the door is cool. So you've got a master down. So again, you're moving here because your kids moved down to Charlotte, got a job with Wells Fargo. Bank of America and stole your grandkids. And you've always wanted to live in the country and you've always wanted, I'm telling your story now, tell me if it's you. And you've always wanted to get an RV and you've wanted to travel and now you're retiring, but your mom and or dad just don't want to leave. What city should I pick on now? St. Louis. So you say, mom, look at, where do you see, dad, where do you see this master bedroom that's yours? That is yours on the main level with a 10 foot party shower. And so again, big windows, you got cabinets, you got nice folding table, lots of cabinets for cleaning supplies. And then of course you've got this slop sink right there, nice. I like that this, uh, this uh, stairway is tucked away in the rear. You know, it's kind of invisible. So you come up here and you've got a two story, see this is broad space right there. The two story foyer is dramatic, correct? Would you agree? It's beautiful and it connects the house. So you've got this right here. So now this is your master. So let me guess, your kids are 30, they took your grandkids and they moved to Charlotte and you're 55 and mom and dad are 80. So they're gonna stay on the main level. They'll probably steal your RV and go for a drive, go on a camping trip, go to Asheville. <laughs> and, and then you've got this connected Again, you've got a connected full bath and good sized closet as well, right? So this is your room. Now, fast forward 25 years, right? Then you move downstairs and your kid who was 30 when you bought this house in 2020, right, you get the picture, don't you? And that RV gets passed down too with all the memories that come along with it. Just a lot of beautiful finishes, guys. You know, the, you know, that undermount sinks, windows in the bathroom, nice tile that goes all the way up. And again, this one's priced in the 575 to six range. I'm gonna say it again, 1.58 acres. Let's look out the front. You see my car sitting in the driveway. You're tucked way back off the road. And there may be another lot. I saw a sign that said other lot for sale. So uh, you never know. I keep talking about the door, the detail on the door is kind of like a beadboard. Cool. So guys, you know the drill, right? You do not want to call the number on the sign. That person represents the best interests of the seller. You need a buyer's agent. They've already agreed to pay my firm a certain amount to assist you in the transaction. So let me or one of my broker partners on my team bring you here to see this thing in person or you may not want to even wait for that. You might want to just buy it remotely if you're having trouble getting out of town uh, or maybe this is a good enough reason for you. Wait a minute, wait, stop, wait. Are you serious? What is this, a bowling alley? Man, this got room for two pool tables, doesn't it? Or at least one with plenty of elbow room. This is huge. So guys, it's multi-generational. It's got a large lot. It's got no HOA. It's got a lot of beautiful finishes, a lot of porches. Uh, and did I say 1.58 acres and it's priced well under 600. So I'd love to be your buyer's agent. Hit me at 704-345-3400 and I will see you in the next video.